this is the number one most asked about asked for video for pregnant moms out there um, so I'm here to show you guys what is in my diaper bag this baby is beautiful this is from the brand oi oi I love it I love the um, like athleisure type vibe blended in with like the chicness of the chestnut although we're in March and technically we're about to be in spring obviously baby's temperature is different than ours so I do see a lot of moms who always say that they regret not bringing a heavier blanket because of course the hospital will give you like a hospital blanket you can use the muslin swaddles and all that jazz but I love 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 holding the baby with like a nice warm fuzzy blanket the minky collection from the brand SS Lux ATL or minkycouture.com I've Featured them a hundred thousand times on my blog before this blanket on my bed right now is actually from them Beautiful 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 blankets. This one is obviously super gender neutral. Love it I have a diaper bag for me a diaper bag packed for James like a baby daddy diaper bag with his belongings I have another bag that has all my makeup in it and then I have another bag over here that has all of my face stuff, hair stuff, other stuff, which is also so important. So I'm not gonna go over everything that's in my makeup bag, so we're gonna put that to the side because it's just whatever makeup you wanna use, um, literally just the bare minimum, pack as if you're going on vacation. So I took some things out that come with or came with my diaper bag. There's a bottle warmer, like an insulated little container which is going to be awesome for going for being on the go but just because this bag is only taking the baby home for now I'm gonna leave this at home but I definitely wanted to feature the items that came in with this diaper bag because this diaper bag is absolutely beautiful it did come with a changing mat um, I love the color scheme it's like a taupe and black color scheme also it comes with a clear little baggie to put wipes in which is awesome uh, you can take like a big chunk of those wipes and put them in something like this. My diaper bag will be packed differently um, Once it's not packed for the hospital I just wanted to pack lotion in general so that um, if the baby does have all that, you know Dry skin I can start getting the baby's skin immune to what we're going to be using. I Love this brand. So if you guys haven't heard of them, this is hello bello They have two different kinds of lotion that I've seen so far They have this one and then they have the, like the lavender based one for like sleepy time. It smells amazing It's a vanilla apricot smell. I do have different packs of colors of these. These are binkies These are from the brand Philips events. We're using event bottles So we figured to get the baby used to the nipple to introduce the baby to the binky at the hospital I have one of my bottles with me this is the event bottles that we're using this is just the four ounce these are actually glass bottles love 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 me some glass bottles also what I have to organize in my bag that's thrown off to the side are these beautiful bamboo and cotton muslin swaddle swaddles this one is a coconut print and this one is like a palm leaf print. I'm obsessed with both. They feel so soft and amazing. This is from the brand and I know I'm going to murder this name. Kahakai? Kahakai? Kahakai. Kahake. It's a Hawaiian brand and I'm so sorry for mispronouncing it, but these are designed in Hawaii and I love them. I love them. I love them. You will see the baby wrapped in these babies obsessed so thank you so much this is from i think this was on amazon this is a a nursing cover if you plan to breastfeed um i'm not a breastfeeding mom the whole segregation of how to feed your child i feel like if your baby is fed and your baby is healthy then that is all that matters so although this is really cool and can double as a breastfeeding cover i will be using this as a car seat cover this is so gorgeous it has flowers and leaf print theme entails is just plant life and nature and I feel like that's really good gender neutrals but this is such amazing beautiful quality and I think this was like under $15 I love this the the material and quality of this thing is absolutely incredible packing a diaper bag is super debatable I, I see a lot of people who pack duffel bags for themselves and duffel bags for baby daddy or husband or whatever with my first two girls I realized that half the stuff I packed in the diaper bag I didn't use so I didn't really pack a lot for baby I packed a lot more for me the first thing is you want to pack 
comfortable bras. I do do a lot of skin to skin time with the baby. This brand I found this year, they're True & Co. I love this one. It's such a cute like cut. It has like that 90s straight across cut. It does have cups that you can remove. It's so stretchy. It's like a seamless adjustable bra. So comfortable. I'm so out of breath. No one really gives you advice or tells you what to expect postpartum and that's what I'm here for. So um, if you do have a vaginal delivery, depending on how your body reacts, you may bleed a lot, you may not bleed a lot. A lot. You might have a lot of discomfort and pain, you may, you may not. But for me, I've had big babies. For me, I've needed stitches and I'm open about all of that kind of stuff. If you're not for that, keep get, like, just get out of this video now. But you do have to wear the big old pad or the padsicle and you know, use the uh, witch hazel pads to put those down and the creams and the sprays and all that kind of good stuff that feels literally amazing. And then, you know, I, I put the hospital underwear and then I layer a pair of booty shorts. And then I used to layer like a pair of Nike Pro shorts, but I have a different alternative this time around. Like I'm telling you, it's like a four layer ordeal. It's like, it keeps you nice and stiff and good and secure. I just grabbed a baggy t-shirt, just a huge black long shirt because obviously I'm still gonna have my belly. So just something comfortable, just literally a plain t-shirt, um, maybe just to go home in. I just have some comfy, like a comfy little outfit that my best friend got me. So soft and smooth, it's actually from Target. It's a really, really, really cute set. It's shorts and like a crew neck sweatshirt. So I'm gonna wear that at some point. I just need to get the top out of the laundry. This is how real and raw this video is. I'm going in in less than 24 hours and I still have yet to have everything like, you know? Next brand that I have packed in my diaper bag is literally my favorite. This brand is called Belly Bandit. I have their maternity leggings, which I'm still gonna use because this is still gonna keep my stomach nice and intact after baby. I have another bra from True & Co. This is another one that you guys have probably seen featured 100,000 times on my page. So this is a racer back. Uh, also the same material, same um, color scheme, it's all black. It does have the removable cups, but I really like this one because it's super sporty and it has a mesh back paneling right here. So it's see-through, it's super airy, I love it. And then back to Belly Bandit, these are the biker shorts that I've been wearing that have been holding my stomach up and making my stomach feel a little bit less heavy. So these are gonna be what I throw on after baby to keep me in and nice and you know? Last time when I gave birth, I didn't pack enough for me. Like I said, I packed so much for baby. This is so beautiful. This is from the brand Journal. This is a beautiful black silk robe. This is what I will be wearing. It is gorgeous. I upsized in it just because it's short and my belly right now brings it up. So I wanted it to be a little bit longer. You can obviously adjust it with the strings. So I'm really, really not worried about it being oversized. So I did get it in a size large. It is so important that mom feels comfortable in the hospital bed. So after baby is born, I will be snuggling up in that. Thank you so much, Journal. A lot of people like to bring slippers. They do, do give you those sexy hospital socks, like the anti-slip socks. You just wanna make sure that while you're there, you have something comfortable to sleep in, something for two days worth of clothing and something to go home in. Like I also packed a pair of sweatpants in case I want something baggy. The last item for myself that's in the baby diaper bag is this they call it a girdle, like a corset, whatever you want to call it. Um, the brand Bell Fit. Bell Fit. Um, this is awesome. So I sent them my measurements of my waist and everything now. So when the baby's out, this is just getting your core to kind of reshape itself. This is more for medical reasons for me. This is me in no way, shape, or form promoting for you guys to have to get snatched back or the whole bounce back thing after pregnancy. I don't believe in that. I believe in definitely reaching your goals, but that is not top priority. You wanna make sure you and your baby are easing into your transition and you're not so eager to get back to your pre-pregnancy body because that's long gone. You're not gonna get that back. Your body is continuing to grow and you're gonna grow into a new body and that is awesome and you should embrace that because I do have mesh in my stomach from having two umbilical hernias. I don't know how severe that's gonna be after I, I give birth. My entire pregnancy, I did feel my mesh tearing inside my skin. I think that I'm gonna be scheduling to get it removed out of my body just so I don't have a foreign object in there. I was young when I decided to get the mesh in my stomach and I have a lot of regrets getting that. With the diastasis recti, it's basically when your ab muscles try to go back together but there's a big bulge in the middle of air and your abs don't ever really 
fully go back because they've been stretched so so far apart but it's basically just to teach your ab muscles to kind of go back together i don't know if this is actually going to fit me in the hospital or if this is going to be something when i go home we will see so really helps with back pain um i've had severe back pain because i'm obviously always hunching forward because i have this big old belly right here so this also teaches you know your body to get back into posture and help relieve that back pain so yes, as you guys know, this was probably my favorite item. That's why I'm ranting about it. So thank you so, 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 so much. When you're at the hospital, you're not really using wipes yet. You're using like wet paper towel, I believe. That's what we were using. Um, but instead, I also want to get the baby used to what wipes we're going to be using, which of course, like I said, we're using Hello Bello. Um, I've been using Hello Bello wipes my entire pregnancy to, to remove my makeup. These are like, I think 99% water. Yeah, there's no parabens, there's no alcohol, there's no artificial fragrance. They're everything that you want a wipe to be. Next, I do have just the little grooming kit or safety kit, whatever you want to call it. This is just by the brand Safety First. So obviously we don't need all of this, especially for a newborn right now, but just to get it used to being in the diaper bag so that we don't ever forget it when we need it. I packed one spit rag or burp cloth. Um, maybe I should throw another one in, I'm not really sure. I have a bunch of little mittens in here. Um, a bunch of long sleeve onesies. These are so necessary. You can get these anywhere. I love these ones with the built-in mittens. It's my absolute favorite. I have a little zip up. And then depending on if it's boy versus girl, I have a whole boy outfit to take the baby home in. And then I have a whole girl outfit to take the baby home in. A total of three to four outfits. Like I said, this is not 100% packed. I have unpacked this thing, rewashed the clothes, and it's still not organized or like perfected. So I have to do that today, like within the next three hours. You want to make sure you have a pajama, some extra onesies, socks, mittens, um, an outfit to go home in, and an outfit to lounge in. So like I said before, I did pack the pacifiers. They're the zero to six month, depending on what the baby is. For now, I do have a planner and then I also have like my motivational journal in there just in case they tell me any important information or dates. I will worry about organizing this after I get off camera. Otherwise, you guys are gonna watch me organize everything and try to squeeze all this stuff back into my bag. Lastly, although this stuff did not fit into my diaper bag, I just wanted to tell you guys about how important it is to pack multiple bags to the hospital because you don't wanna overpack, but you also don't wanna forget things that you really need because it's very important to take care of yourself so i have this bag right here it's just like a linen bag my friend got me one of these letter boards i've never used these during my pregnancy i did not hop on the letter board mom bus however i will be announcing the baby's name possibly with this i have no idea um but it's super cute and gender neutral it's a uh, light gray and dark gray with white lettering i have so many things for like skincare whatever you want to use to wash your face i did pack uh, dry shampoo. I featured this brand on one of my posts. It's collab. It's amazing. It smells amazing It makes you feel like refreshed a mirror It's really important to have a handheld mirror so that you don't have to if you want to spruce yourself up brush your hair um, Do your makeup or anything like that while you're in the hospital bed definitely bring a handheld mirror I did not do that before a hair brush. I packed a little um, handheld wet brush so makeup hair face whatever else this is like your sitting in bed bag the other things that i'm going to be packing that are not featured right now are my camera charger my camera which i'm looking at with my little mini tripod and a cell phone charger those are the most important things that you need whatever makes you feel comfortable before i hop off of here i will just highlight really quick one more time the oi oi bag i have never been more in love with a diaper bag this comes with so many extra clips there's a zipper inside. There's one, two big pockets on the inside. These also unzip and are pockets. You have two side pockets on the side for bottles. You have a pocket in the front along with another loop in case you want to loop, uh, clip something on there. But this pocket in the front is real big, like real deal huge. And then it has some slots right here. You also have a buttoned pocket, but you can hold it by the handles. And then of course it has a cross body as well. Super unisex. It's super gender neutral. I love it. Um, I cannot thank you enough, Oi Oi, for sending me that because it is very hard to find a diaper bag 
that you're satisfied with and I need something that's durable and sturdy and versatile and this is everything this can be dressed up this can be dressed down but also I wanted to add a little disclaimer in here if you are already a mom who has multiple children or another child and they're gonna be coming to the hospital obviously or staying the night I don't know what your hospital allows but you would obviously have to take into consideration another bag or backpack for your children it's sad of me to say this and I don't really want to make it a huge deal um, however, obviously you guys know that I share multiple things with you guys, especially when you're putting yourself out there on the internet. Due to this coronavirus and all the precautions that they're taking, um, my hospital gave me a call yesterday and informed me that we are not allowed to have visitors. So um, Avon and Ivory will not be allowed into the hospital, unfortunately. So they will not be meeting their sibling until we get home and at the end of the day it's to protect the health of our newborn and i totally get it it's just very unfortunate and that's the only word that i can really find for it i did have a bunch of stuff packed for the girls some little jammies and stuff for them um to take pictures holding their sibling and we're just gonna hold off on uh all that until they get home so it's okay if they were coming to the hospital then i would have had a little extra bag packed for them also if you're a snacker, you could definitely pack some snacks in your bag. Um, I usually send James out to get me like an Italian grinder because you can't have lunch meat when you're pregnant. So um, there's that. But yes, um, if you guys are watching this till the end, you guys will hear the sad news that uh, we don't get to have our ordinary, you know, family moment in the hospital that we've had for the past two children slash pa past two pregnancies. Um, which is like everything that I look forward to is you know them getting to come into the hospital bed and lay with me and hold the baby and photograph that like first moment but it's okay we're still gonna have that moment it's just not gonna be at the hospital it's gonna be in the safety and comfort um, of our own home but I need to stop acting like I have all the time in the world to sit here and talk to you guys I have a whole lot of stuff to do I have a whole lot of laundry to put away oh my goodness it is so real now um, definitely emotions are all over the place if you guys have any questions if you're newly pregnant if you have any questions about any of this, these brands anything that's what i'm here for that's it this is my last video until you guys meet our family member number five send me all the prayers and good energy and good vibes i really need it at this point and that's it i hope you guys all enjoyed this really really lengthy video i want to thank uh, all the brands that have made uh, all of this possible for me because this i've received such amazing gifts from all of you and the quality and the love and just positivity attached to all these items are getting me through this really nerve-wracking time in my life you're in like your most vulnerable state um so it's super important that mom feels comfortable and good and nurtured so all of these items have totally done that for me i will see you guys back when i'm a little bit less baby and a little bit more mommy so thank you guys bye